I'm gonna cut straight to the chase on this one. TikTok openly allows the distribution of softcore child pornography with no repercussion. I don't make dead serious videos very often, so I hope you guys will dial in for this one. Just watch this TikTok as my premise. <laughs> now, obviously, it's concerning that a 13 year old girl could be on TikTok doing that, but that is not even close to the worst of this stuff. And to be honest with you, I can't really show any examples, and I'm sure I'm gonna have to blur most of this because the content that is widely available and incredibly easy to find on TikTok is so vulgar that I would be banned from YouTube if I showed you it. If that doesn't scare you, then Holy shit. It is no mystery at all that the sexualization of women on TikTok is, is what runs the app. And if you wanna debate that, I would encourage you to tell me the last time that Katie Sigmund or Addison Rae ever made you crack a smile because their joke was so funny. And I want to be clear, this is not their fault. Addison Rae is an adult. She is beyond successful making the stuff that she makes, and that is totally fine. However, the two problems that arise from that, so number one, all the minors on this app see the success that people have by making these dance videos where they are more or less degraded. But the bigger issue is that TikTok allows it. And to be frank, allows is not even the correct word. The correct word is encourages. Now, I really can't show much here. Here's an account with half a million followers. The Ages in the bio, and it is significantly less than 18. Almost every single video has over 100,000 views. This one in particular has 6 million. And every video is the exact same thing. It's just a very, very, very low cut shirt. And um, how do I describe this? Just bouncing her tits. Every single comment references how the person will be saving the video and using it for later. Here's a top comment. Hopefully you can take that implication on your own. And as much as I think it's irresponsible that she would post this content, she's very young, clearly very impressionable. But on top of that, it's really not her fault. TikTok should not allow this. TikTok is entirely to blame for this. So it's not enough to say that it's slipping through the cracks because so many people post videos to TikTok. How could they manage this? This is a booming account and it's being pushed out to For You pages everywhere. This is a crude joke, but I mean it in all seriousness. If I was a convicted pedophile, I would be having a field day. Let me put it this way. If you think that I'm being too harsh or that I'm body shaming, for example, if any of these videos of minors on TikTok were found on a convicted pedophile's phone, would you be comfortable with that? Is it illegal for them to have those videos? Because I don't think this is the girl's fault, and quite frankly, I wouldn't think it's the pedophile's fault either. Because the girl is allowed to post it with no repercussions, and the pedophile is allowed to download TikTok and save any video they want, same as me and you can. To make matters worse, all the minors that post these videos always have a link to their Instagram and their bio. Now again, in the hypothetical situation where I'm a pedophile, all I have to do, click on their Instagram. Now I know this girl's first name, last name, and location. That is fucked up. And a quick note to those in the crowd who will say, oh, it's the parents' fault. Yes, in the perfect world, we would all have the nuclear family, but we all know that's not real. I'm sure more than half of you who are watching this don't have the perfect family life. And for that reason, it is TikTok's burden to ensure the safety of the people that they allow to use its app. And the reason they don't is because they make a hell of a lot more money by allowing everyone on this app to do whatever they want. So my concluding note would be this. We always make the joke, you know, oh, I don't want to have a daughter after watching TikTok. Well, if my daughter at the age of 12 can make a TikTok and post to this massive public forum a video of her sexualizing her body, and that video gets pushed to the masses because TikTok's algorithm favors content like that, and now my daughter's full name and location are available to anyone with bad intentions, yes, I do not want to have a daughter. All right, boys. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about this, so let me know. Peace out.